Walmart is just taking themselves to a whole new level. My mind is blown. Hi, my name is Aralia. I am a personal stylist. My passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I believe that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of age or size. Today, as I mentioned, I am bringing you a Walmart haul and boy, these are some of the most beautiful pieces that I have ever seen from Walmart. I think that Walmart is taking that quiet, luxury, classic, elegant, sophisticated, way of dressing that we are in right now and they have run with it and the stuff that they have in this latest drop when i very first saw them start trickling out i was like whoa they are going very very ladylike in the pieces that they're bringing out and oh my goodness they're stunning there were some fails in this haul but for the most part we've got some home run hits from walmart so let's go ahead and dive in. The first piece I wanna talk about is this dress by Sofia Vergara. This dress actually has been out for quite some time. I didn't wanna try it on though because it has a twist tie on it and a spot where I feel for us round shaped ladies is not exactly the most flattering. It can be if placed properly, if done properly. I would have to say that this dress kinda of, sort of hits the mark. It is this beautiful turquoise knit dress. They've got a few colors available in this dress. I picked mine up in a size extra extra large in the standard women's sizing it does hit me at midi or close to maxi length because i am five feet tall so everything fits me long the 2xl fits fine i think it fits me well i'm very comfortable in it it does have that knot and i tried wearing it a couple of different ways but i think just knotted is good it's a little bit off to the side so at least it's not right smack in the middle of the belly and i think that's why this dress works a little bit better than most because she has made it an offset knot. I do like the way it looks though, and I absolutely love, love, love this beautiful turquoise blue that she's put out with this dress. I think it is a good dress for the office too, because it is very modest in the neckline. I will say that the sleeves do come in slightly, so you will have to mind your bra. Mine, I kept kind of having to tuck the straps in a little bit so that that way they wouldn't show. So if you've got like a racer back bra or or a convertible bra that would work very well otherwise i would say just use a little bit of fashion tape to keep your bra in place it does have a slit in the lower part of the skirt the skirt also has got a little bit of surplus on it so it's a little bit um, it flares just ever so slightly. It just has a little bit more movement. It does have a liner, which I was very surprised, but that's nice because it smooths things out a little bit. I'm wearing my Honey Love Shapewear underneath it. I really do like the way it looked. I would totally wear this with a blazer to the office or maybe with a cardigan um, because it's just a really great piece, I think, for that type of environment, but you could easily wear it running around. If you're attending a graduation, I think that this is a very beautiful dress for that. So there are a lot of different scenarios in the coming months where you could work this dress in. This would be a really pretty dress to wear for, you know, anything that you might be doing on Mother's Day. So the next dress is another Sofia Vergara. The dress is the same pattern as that satin slip dress that I've been showing. And they also have it in pink. It's a really pretty off the shoulder tiered dress with some smocking on the waistline. I picked it up in the XXL. So I picked it up from her straight size section, not the plus size section. I think the 1X also would have fit in plus size for me. I'm a size 18 women's and I'm five feet tall. This dress is actually quite beautiful, but I think I've kind of spoiled myself on the satin version of this pattern because I love the sheen that the satin version has and this dress does not have the same sheen. It is not the same kind of fabric. It's more like a, I would have to say it's more like a chiffon, poly chiffon kind of uh, fabric. It's a little bit gauzy. It does have a little bit of a wrinkle to it. What I do like about the fabric though is I hardly had to steam it. If you don't want to worry about having to steam a dress, this is a perfect option I think because like I said the wrinkles fell out it is still very beautiful it is still I think very appropriate for like if you're going to a wedding or if you're going to a graduation or any kind of special event that you might have coming up in the spring and summer you can wear it on the shoulders if you don't want to wear it off shoulder but um, it definitely 
looks best if it is worn off the shoulder. That is how it has been intended to be worn. This dress, if you wear it off the shoulder, you're showing off your collar, which is one of the most beautiful and attractive spots on a woman's body, regardless of size or age, are the shoulders. This dress plays off on that. Um, a really beautiful dress, highly recommended, especially if you don't want to show off your arms. Well, this is a really great option for you if you like that pattern and you want to have a dress that you can wear with that pattern it fully covers the arms so you don't have to worry about that the dress is beautiful it is a stunning dress the next dress that i have for you is this beautiful sundress by time and true i picked it up in an xxl it is a really really pretty white eyelet dress it does have eyelet detail on the hemline it does have functioning buttons all the way down the front it does have some straps on it that remind me very much of the sundresses that i used to wear as a kid the straps are adjustable in the sense that you can button them to adjust them it's got two buttonholes in the back so that you can you know either have it longer or make it shorter what i would say if it if the strap still doesn't fit you you can just have a tailor add a buttonhole whether you need it to be shorter or you need it to be longer it's got enough slack on both sides for you to be able to do that so that's an easy fix if the straps don't work for you what I found about the dress though, even though it has a smocking in the back, it was still very tight across my chest. You could see that one of the buttons is gaping. That's a shame because it is a really, really beautiful dress. It does have its own little belt. It does have a really pretty A-line skirt to it. I would say that if you do have a larger chest, you want definitely want to size up. I think that it will fit you fine everywhere else as well. Or you could just have it altered a little bit in at the waist. If you have a smaller chest, then it's gonna fit you just fine. I really do like the dress. I think it is very, very beautiful. I'm very sad that it didn't fit because I thought it would be very cute. It does have pockets. Now, the one thing I will say though about the dress is that it doesn't have a lining on it. So you will likely have to wear a slip of some sort and underneath it in order to not have a see-through situation happening with the dress. Really pretty though, very affordable. It is 100% cotton. I don't think it has any stretch in it, but it is still a lovely, lovely fabric. You just have to be mindful of the fact that it could be a little bit see-through, but really, really pretty nonetheless. I could see wearing this dress for a lot of different occasions just to run around town vacation if you're a bride and you've got wedding events coming this is a really pretty dress although i will say that the next dress i think is a slightly better option the next dress is this beautiful white eyelet dress from free assembly this one is not your typical sundress it actually has a scoop neck on it and a scoop back it doesn't show your bra though it doesn't go too low but it does have that scoop versus being straight across like the sundress that i featured a moment ago from time and true this one is fully lined it does have pockets and it has a very very beautiful fit and flare design and this is where i really really feel that walmart is truly embracing that feminine style that we are in right now it is such a beautiful dress it is very much retro though i will say it has that old 1950s kind of feel to it you know because you've got that full skirt on it and i do love the eyelet fabric i think the eyelet fabric is very very beautiful we all know that eyelet is trending very heavily at the moment when i saw it on the website i was smitten by this dress because this dress is right up my alley it does fit a little bit tight across the chest it is 100 percent cotton by the way and i also think that the straps are a little bit too long for me i could use a little bit maybe like about a half an inch of an alteration to make the straps fit perfectly I would take this to a tailor to have it adjusted. It's not a big fix. It's not a very expensive fix either. They can easily do that, I think. And it's just a really, really pretty dress, I feel. Really gorgeous, especially if you are a bride and you've got some spring bridal events coming, like a shower, an engagement party, um, a wedding shower, you know, bachelorette. If you are in your bridal era at the moment, this is a beautiful dress. But even still, even if you're not and you just love wearing white dresses this is a really really pretty one to try and it's just so hard to believe that it is from Walmart because it is a stunning stunning dress this could easily go as a designer dress you know you could find this in a lot of high-end places but here it is at Walmart and it is so so pretty this next skirt is by Scoop again embracing that 
old school feminine classic style in this gathered skirt. It is such a pretty skirt. Reminds me very much of the one that I picked up from H&M this winter. It has a lot of really beautiful pleats, larger pleats on the on the waistline. No pockets though, which is, you know, a little bit like uh, I don't understand, maybe because they felt it would be a little bit too much fabric, especially because you've got a liner underneath the skirt. So it is fully lined and the liner and the skirt itself are 100% cotton. It does have a banded waistband. Sadly though, this skirt runs small. I picked up the XXL, which is an equivalent to a 20 and it doesn't fit. Now this has happened to me before with Scoop. Scoop for me, the sizing tends to be a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes Sometimes an XXL will fit and sometimes it won't with scoop. It's just, it varies on the piece. And so this particular piece, I couldn't get it zipped. That's a shame because it is such a beautiful skirt. It does come in a few colors. I believe they have it in like a neon green. They've got it in the black and I think they might have it in like a white or a cream. You will have to go up a size on this skirt because otherwise it's not gonna close on you. It would have been nice if it had had pockets too. I think that would have been a really good thing but it might have disrupted the line of the skirt. Still a really beautiful, very feminine skirt that I would encourage you to try because it is so pretty and can be paired up with a lot of different things to make it look very, very special. I'm trying it on with this black cap sleeve polo sweater. It is a very fine gauge sweater. I picked it up in an extra, extra large and it fits beautifully. It does have a cap sleeve on it. It does have a very small little collar and a v-neck on it. I really, really like this top. This is one of those tops that feels a little bit retro. It feels a little bit very classic traditional kind of styling. It's really uh, leaning in a little bit on that preppy look. It's leaning in on that old money aesthetic and I'm here for it. I really like this little top. It is very comfortable. The knit is a very nice lightweight knit. It will look good with everything in your wardrobe. I know for sure this particular little top, I could pair it with anything that I have in my wardrobe and it's gonna make it look really beautiful, really smart. If you do have thicker arms and you are a little bit self-conscious about that, the cut of the sleeve is not going to be the most flattering. Generally speaking, when you have thicker arms, you want to avoid cap sleeves. It is gonna bring a little bit of attention to your thicker arms. For me personally, I'm not bothered by that. I really like this little top. I think that it looks really beautiful and I'm very comfortable wearing it, but I did want to put that out there for you. It is a really good versatile piece though that you could wear to work, that you could wear running around. You could pair it with a really pretty skirt and it's gonna look fantastic. The next dress is one that to me epitomizes that classics. I know I keep saying that guys, I'm sorry, but this is what this particular drop from Walmart has reminded me of. It's that very classic, very sophisticated, very feminine style. And this next dress falls right in line with that. It is this beautiful halter neck dress and the halter neck actually goes crisscrosses around the neck. Your shoulders and your collarbone are very beautifully emphasized. It has um, full coverage on the top and then you've got a full skirt on the dress and it is in the similar style as the skirt I just talked about in that we've got the big gathers that give the dress a lot of volume. Oh my goodness, this dress is chef's kiss. So beautiful. Now in full transparency, I did not think that this dress was going to fit me because like I told you, Scoop has a tendency of being inconsistent in their sizing. And this is a perfect example. I picked this up in the extra, extra large and it fit. You know, Scoop is a hit or miss for me. It could be a hit or miss for you. That's kind of what I'm here for is to kind of help guide you through that and let you know. But this dress is a stunner. Now I'm not wearing a bra with this dress. I don't think you have to because the bodice fits really nice and tight. It's holding everything together, which is hallelujah. I don't have to worry about wearing a bra. You might want to wear some nipple covers possibly with this dress. It, it is just a very, very elegant, elegant dress. This is acceptable to things like a graduation or a party of some sort. Uh, that you're having Mother's Day. Again, if you want to look really beautiful and va va boom, this dress is going to do it for you. And I don't think that you should shy away from dresses like this. I feel that 
even though you're plus size, you shouldn't have limits to what you feel that you can wear. And this dress is proof of that. It is incredibly feminine and very elegant and very sophisticated. And you will look beautiful in this dress if you pick it up. It does come in two other colors. We've got a uh, like a neon green that came out with this drop as well as a black and white stripe or a white with black stripe. It's a very thin little pinstripes. I really wanted the pinstripe one, by the way, but it was sold out in my size and my area, but still a gorgeous, gorgeous dress at a really good price considering uh, what it is and just how elegant it is. I mean, again, this is just Walmart knocking it out of the park. I'm telling you with their dresses this year. The next top that I have for you is from Free Assembly. I picked it up in an extra, extra large. It is this navy blue eyelet ruffle top. It is 100% cotton. It is a little bit shorter. It's not a very long top. It doesn't have hardly any stretch to it. And I found that it fit a little bit snug. I've got a booty, you know, and so it was a little tight because of that. But Otherwise, I really, really like this little top. I think it's very cute, especially if you don't mind the ruffles on the sleeves. For me personally, I'm not big on having ruffles on my shirt. It goes against my own personal style, but if you're more of a feminine style or even a boho style, I think that you would love this top. It is fully lined in the front, so the eyelet doesn't show anything in the front. You do need to be aware that the back does not have lining. So if you're gonna be wearing this to the office, you would wanna wear it like a new bra possibly or a camisole underneath if you are uh, worried about modesty. They do have it in a few other colors. It is a really pretty little top. There are a lot of different ways that you could wear this top that it would work in very very well into your summer wardrobe really super nice and I do recommend it. It's just not my own personal style. So my hunt for a white maxi length denim skirt is still going on. I thought that this one might answer the call, but it did not. It is from Scoop. I picked it up in a size 18. It closed and it fit, but there were things about it that I didn't like. First of all, it is incredibly high-waisted. And so sitting down would be a real big issue. There's gonna be a lot of bulging and bulking up around my waistline because it is so high rise. Secondly, it's a little bit on the snug side, meaning um, if you watched my J Crew haul and I tried on a white denim pencil skirt, I talked about you don't want the fabric to hug your belly. You want it to kind of skim over it. Well, this one almost skimmed over it. It did hug a little bit. And also it is too long. I think that a maxi skirt, a denim maxi skirt, or a I should say a pencil maxi skirt should hit you at about the ankle. It should not go longer than that. I think that it will drag too much if you do that. And this one doesn't hit at the ankle. It's about maybe two inches too long. I could have it altered if I wanted to, but honestly, when it comes to something like this denim maxi skirt, I think I want it to be perfect. And this one was not perfect. I don't wanna have to do this or that to it. It has to wow me. And this particular skirt did not wow me. I decided to push outside of my own comfort zone with this haul and I picked up this tube top from Scoop and I thought you know there are no limits for us plus size gals so let's bring it in let's have a look and let's see what what we think. So here I am trying it on and I want to love it, but there are problems with it. First of all, let me tell you about it. I picked it up in an extra, extra large. It does have padding built in. So it does have its own shelf bra built in. It is a really nice, soft kind of, um, I don't know if I would call it the scoop scuba material, but it is in that vein, you know, it's a thicker knit that we have here, but soft, not like Ponty that has a little bit of stiffness to it. It actually is very soft, very pliable. I really wanted to love it, but I don't think that I have enough bust to fill the shelf bra. And so because of that, I worry that it might fall. And also something that you will have to contend with, I think with this top is the back flab because it kind of emphasize that a little bit, I think. And so I'm not sure that I want to wear something that's going to do that. That's not gonna keep that in check. If you've got a fuller bust and where it's not quite so loose in the back and falling, this might work for you. Otherwise, 
it layers very beautifully. If you want to get it and you are, aren't intending on wearing it on its own, then you're going to cover it with a blazer. Then I don't think the back issues are that big of a problem, but otherwise, yeah, they're going to be an issue. So that's my thought on it. And you decide whether you like it or not. The last piece that I have for you is this vest from Scoop. And this one, I had very little hope that it was actually going to fit. Even though I ordered it in the XXL, this one is way, way small. I would say that you would have to go up two sizes at least in order for this to fit you properly. And even then they don't carry it up to that size range. So you're kind of stuck like Chuck if you are an 18. If you are a 16, I don't think it will fit you either. This is not even an XL. This is a large, easily a large it runs very, very, very small. It is really nicely made. The outer part is made of cotton. The inner part is made of polyester, which is gonna take away from the breathability of the cotton. So just so you know, it has covered buttons. It does have an adjustable back. It is more of a crop style vest. So it is gonna hit a little bit shorter than other vests that you might pick up. This is a no, but I will have some alternatives listed for you in a black vest if you are interested in it. It's a little bit disappointing that Scoop made this one so small. I don't know why they would do that. And if you are going to make it that small Scoop, then offer up to a 3XL so that you truly are size inclusive. That's kind of an issue that I've had with Scoop in the past is that I don't feel that they are truly size inclusive. They tried this year, I think, but they are not quite hitting the mark. So that we can leave this haul on a good note, I'm very encouraged to buy this collection that Walmart has released because I feel that it is a very beautiful old money, quiet luxury, classic, sophisticated, elegant style aesthetic. And I'm super excited that they are embracing it. And I really do hope that they keep pushing in that direction because it is so nice to have this type of style attainable for a lot of you out there. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you with my latest Walmart haul so that you can see some of the other things that I've brought in from Walmart because they've got a lot of really, really great pieces for the spring and summer this year. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you in those videos. Bye.